Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Domains Breaker with League R. This is the season 2 season review. Let's go. So, I'll put up the rules for Domains Breaker up here now. You can read and understand what we're doing. It's already over. We failed in season 2 again. <sighs> If you're still not sure what we're doing, you can go back to Season 1, Episode 1 by clicking the link on top right to go back to that episode to understand more. Or you can read the rules above here. Without further ado, let's continue. It's officially over. So we are doing a small review for Season 2 in this episode. Uh, I'll show the league table first. Hold on a minute. And okay, there we go. PSG won the title with 10 points clear. Ahead of our Zanyuans, Monaco, and also Isaac Leon, and I'm one point behind them, so I get fourth place. One place worse than last season, which means we're gonna play in Europa League next season if we are playing. Not sure if we are gonna come back for season three or not yet. But good news is, Osim did won the Golden Boot alongside Ben Yedder. Yay! <laughs> so the best 11 squad overall oh, for two seasons. We have Mike Miniak, Bradrich, Gabriel, Kelly, and Celik. Out of the back five, we only got Kelly, who joined half season um, during last season, January. And then midfield, we have Jerka, still there. He played really well in season one, like first half, slowly dropped off second half. He was alone at Burnley this season, and he did okay. 6.91 average rating, 2 goals, and 5 assists for Burnley. Um, Played 36 games. Burnley finished 14. <laughs> not the greatest, but anyway, I do not really give a shit about Burnley. Don't know will Jerka come back and play for us or not, or I will sell him. Depends. We got David Silva alongside him. Of course, David Silva was so good at the first half. Slowly dropped off since the Barcelona game. Still pretty good though, like 7.44 average rating in the league. Uh, let's talk about him later. Okay, let's continue with team first. We have Yazinchi still at Central Jackie midfield, okay. Bamba at the wing. Draxler joining in the best eleven. Also, of course, gonna stay up front. We have newcomers, which is Joseph Martinez, who was pretty good. I will talk about him later. And Kere also joined. Okay, he wasn't in the best eleven last season. Suarez is now at the sub as long. Well. He was okay. He will join us. For season 3, if if we get season 3. End of the season awards, we have awesome first place with 64%. I think that's definitely no doubt. Like, he overtake David Silva since like the Barcelona game. He was so good, like consistently scoring goals. His goal scoring ratio was almost one goal per game. I know that's a lot of penalty in the league. Eight goals is penalty, but still pretty good. Pretty good. David Silva at second at 22%, Gabriel at third with 9%. I'm surprised Gabriel is up there, but Gabriel was very decent whole season. 7.22 in the league. Not too bad for him. Goal of the season, we have Renato Sanchez against Angles. Unfortunately, I couldn't see that. Uh, I will try to look for that clip by looking through the episodes. If I did find it, I will put it up. This definitely deserves a replay. Draxler played the brother who used his weak to pass inside. Renato Sanchez, good first touch, bangs it into the top corner. We have Draxler signing of season, surprising it's not David Silva. Young player of season, we have Victor Osim, like no dub. Team of season, Joseph Martinez is up there, how good is he since he joined us in January. We also have Osim, and then Draxler, Renato Sanchez, David Silva. Surprisingly, Thiago Maia didn't get ahead of Renato Sanchez, okay. Bamba is there as well. He was pretty good as well. Kuzo. <laughs> that shows how bad both Radic and Kyle Hendricks are since Kuzo left in January. He still get into the team of season. How is he doing though actually in China? Mm, play seven games in the league, one game in the cup. Mm, how is Beijing Guan doing in the Chinese Super League? Mm. Did he get injured or what? Why did he only play so last game? Let's see. He only injured for two days. Why? How come he played so last? Whatever. That's Kuzawa's cool. matter. It's not our matters anymore. We have Chelik at right back and then Mike of Grizzly in goal. Season review. 
Liu were expected to be among the leading candidates for continental football qualification sport and they live out to the bailing by securing a place for themselves, obviously. Because look at the point difference like between us and then OGC Nice, 20 plus points, almost 30. That shows a lot like how good are four of us and also PSG, like we are way better ahead of them. Match of the season, we won 4 nil against Amiens at September and then lost 5 nil to Monaco. That's the moment to forget, obviously. I, that was a terrible game. <laughs> now we're gonna go through the players' stats. Um, let's look at goals first. Obviously, Ossium, top score. How, was, how many penalties again? 8, missed 1. So we tanked, he took 9. Ben Yedder scores 7. So uh, they both are kind of like the same, you know, like scoring quite a lot of penalty. But Ben Yedder stopped scoring since, I don't know when, but he stopped scoring for a while already. As you can see here, the goal per 90 minutes, like, Osim got way, way better than the whole league. 89 minutes per goal. That was so cute. We got Vigon Tovan at 3rd with 22. He also stopped scoring for a while already. That's why he stuck there and then Osim overtook both of them. Okay, not, not overtook Ben Yedder, but... You know, eco Ben Yedda. Following three, we got three PSG players: Icardi with 19, Mbappe 15, Neymar 14, and then we got Isaac Mariano. His top goal scorer in the league this season, not Dembele because Dembele was struggling with trying to leave the club earlier this season. That's why he didn't do that well. Also, didn't play that much. You see the stats. Mariano also played not much, but still scored 13. Not too bad for Mariano. I knew Mariano was a good player at Dortmund. Oh, I also score 11. Okay. Boga, 11 for Monaco. So we have Suarez at 11 as well. Gelson Martins at 11. Lots of our players, to be honest. Vargas for Vicon, 10 goals. Jermaine, 10 goals as well. Oh, I missed out the top scorer for last season. Benedetto only got 12 this season. Way, way disappointing for Vicon. But he's getting on a bit like 31 years old already. We also have Mason Greenwood at 10 goals. That's uh, surprising for me, if I'm being honest. Assist wise, we have Bamba at 11, third place. Golovin top it with 15 assists. We also have Prodigy at 8. I expect more from him, I'm being honest, but still, 8 was pretty good. Hopefully, if we have season 3, he can do a uh, double figure assist. Draxler also got 8. Okay, not too bad. Clean sheets wise, we have Mike at third place at 16 clean sheets. Kayonawa's top it with 24. That's like way better than this. Mike, keep. Uh, 20 clean sheets last season and only considered 28 goals this season we considered 40 which is way way worse but he still got average rating better I, I don't know how team stats Leon score 100 goal topping the league this season we score I think a lot better compared to last season I'm not sure I can't remember already we are third place alongside Monaco this season 91 beat Vicons Marseille and then Average possession, we are not that high. Not surprised because we try to go a little bit quicker with 48% only. But we have the best tackling completion though in the league with 90%. Great, mm -hmm. great, great. Leeds considered we are 4th with 40 goals considered. Uh, we considered too many goals to Zanyas and Isaac and Vicon. You will see at the fixtures later. Those are the games that I consider like 4 or 5 goals. <laughs> That's probably why we didn't do so well in goals conceded. Most clean sheets we have PSG at 26. We are at 3rd place but Zanyas Monaco at 22 because he switched his goalkeeper around. He got two great goalkeeper in Lunin who joined on loan from Real Madrid. Also his goalkeeper from last season Lecom. Both of them are pretty well. He rotated around. Most foul make. Zanius Marco make the most. We are not up there because I didn't tell the players to get stuck in. We are 295, but still get quite a lot of yellow cards as you can see here. 71 ninth place, but still pretty high considering we didn't tell the players to get stuck in. I expect it to be like here, but we are still top 10. Red cards, we only got one this season. I think it was Brotheridge earlier. We have the best passing completion ratio with 29%. Also, best shooting accuracy, 54%. Okay, okay. Okay, now this is something that I'm really proud of. This season, we created the most chances, 169, beating everyone else. I'm surprised by this because earlier the season, when I checked, I, we are wasn't doing that great. Like We are quite like 4th or 5th, but in the end, we finished highest, 169. I'm proud. 
last season we wasn't doing that great at cr- chances created. So I brought in David Silva. Clearly, David Silva created quite a lot of chances for us. Um, I'm glad he joined, but he's gonna leave us to Barcelona. Conversion ratio, we are only fourth with eleven percent. Probably that's why we didn't score enough goals because we created so many chances. Three balls per game. We are sixteen only compared to Zanius, Monaco, and also Isaac Leon. Top goal scorer, as you can see, we have Osteham. 35 goals in 35 appearances basically one goals per one game i did some calculation wrongly i thought he had more than one goal per game okay anyway still very good one goals per game is good enough he is way better than last season uh as you can see here he scored only 15 goals in 37 appearances last season 6.99 rating now this season he got 7.63 in the league Way way better performance from Osim. Next is Suarez, twelve goals. I think the main reason why he isn't scoring that much is because he's not fast enough. That's the thing. But he still is gonna join us third season because we already signed him for free. As you can see, he's gonna join us on July. If I don't like him, I just sell him in January for some money. He's gonna become quite some value player for me so i can sell to gain some money for the transfers i guess but he's all right like his 11 goals doesn't have any penalty so still not too bad next is another striker that i l- really like a lot pondering alongside of him joseph martinez 11 goals in 22 appearances average rating 7.38 in the league he average rating 7.51 in the champions league 7.75 score two goals against barcelona although we got knocked out but 8 goals in 15 appearance in the league is not too bad considering he got injured and didn't play well back from injuries but in the end still pick up the form to finish the season strongly. He definitely gonna join us next season with 40 million because we have some money in the bank. 21 million, yeah we have enough. If we're playing season 3, 100% he's gonna join us. I really like him. Next is Draxler with 8 goals. Uh, still expect more from him considering he has wish of top in the team 115k next season he will be the only top earner in the team as David Silva is going to Barcelona and Zlatan is retiring next we got Bamba with 6 goals mm, I will talk about him later when we mention the assist David Silva with 6 goals as well look at him a 7.44 average rating and in the league 7.36 average rating in the Champions League. What's a player he was for us this season? He was so good. He is still very good. I know his average rating recently hasn't been great to be honest. Uh, let's see. Still have some good games occasionally, but I think he wasn't himself anymore since the Barcelona game. Especially he's joining Barcelona. I, I don't know. Is it a game just playing with me or not? Although his physical is slowly losing, but his mental and technical is still very, very good. I'm gonna miss him 100%. Next is Kone with 5 goals. Ikone, as you can see here, 27 appearances, 17 starting, 10 off the bench, but he didn't start a lot and he still did pretty well for me, like in my opinion. 5 goals, considering not bad, like he didn't play much. Gabriel with 5 goals from center backs, Zlatan, 5 goals. The most big disappointment for me I thought he's gonna do way better with his technical and mental stats like David Silva but obviously his acceleration, uh, pace, stamina all just gone down massively as you can see here he scored two penalties missed one so total he only scored three non-penalty goals in 20 appearances this is not good enough but still his mentoring helping Osim I guess really helps Osim to become like a better player this season I guess it's not too bad but I'm happy to take his 115k off the wish next season can okay, 4 goals from the centre back Yazinchi scored 4 goals but if you remember correctly he already scored 3 goals earlier this season but just stopped scoring since then only scored 1 <laughs> I might consider selling him next season. Renato Sanchez 4 goals, but since Thiago Maia came back, he just barely features that much, so I think it was alright for him. Batista Maia 2 goals. 1 against Vicons Marseille earlier this season. 
But since then, he only scored in Coupe de France, also the assist all in the Coupe de France. Just not good enough, though, in my opinion, like playing in the league. But still, his contribution in the cup is massive, in my opinion. So, oh well, thank you. British, two goals. Lovren, two goals. Cousins, two goals. Now look at the assists. Bamba. Total 20 goals contribution this season compared to his last season. Okay, just look at the league. 6 goals and 11 assists this season. Last season, he only got 7 league appearances. Sorry, 7 goals contribution in the league. Only 6.83 average rating. 7.23 this season. 3 man of matches. He improved massively in my opinion, like really stepped up this season to become the starting right winger. Next we got Draxler with 12 assists. Still not good enough, like Bamba earning only 24k. Get more assists than you. Draxler, you need to step up your game, man. Dredderich only 9 assists. I expect him to hit double figure, but oh well. Not too bad, like hope he can really hit double figure if we got season 3. Jeremy Pierce still got eight assists considering like his pace has like gone down massively. Not too bad, but he's definitely gonna leave. I'm gonna sell him because his pace is gone and he's 32 years old already. David Silva, seven assists, but Tista Meyer already talked about him. Keller, four assists. Mm. He sometimes plays at the right back, that's the thing. Chelik still got four assists, not too bad. Renato Sanchez, four. Osseo also got four. Yazinchi, three. Suarez, three. Cazares, three. Chances created per 90 minutes, we have Cousins at first. He basically didn't feature much since joining us in January because Bamba was so good, but he's now valued at 22.5 minutes. If I think he's not good enough, then I can just sell him uh, next season. He only got one start and then five subs on. Didn't get any goals or assists, but he didn't have enough game time this thing. Drexler is second with 1.09 and then Bamba 0.99, Yazinchi 0.82, Chelik 0.7, Davitsiwa 0.59. I'm surprised Davitsiwa is quite low, probably because he played quite deep playing at central midfield. If he played as a central second midfield, he might have higher chances created by 90 minutes. Key passes by 90 minutes, obviously Davitsiwa. He did a lot of that kind of like diagonal passes down to the wings. To Draxler, Bamba, Frederic, Celic or Jeremy Pierre. Yazinchi with 2.7. Thiago Maya 2.56. I think he is quite good because he is the best tackling player for us in Central Review at least. Like he average rating 7.54 in the league. I really love him. When he's at Flamengo, Flamengo got the release clause. Not really clause buy on fee of 6 million but they decided not to activate he came back and I renewed his contract and look at him now 20.5 million Flamengo wants him again but they need to pay a lot for him but I probably won't let him go because I think he's really good partnering alongside David Silva this season and then Draxler 1.78 Cazares 1.76 Renato Sanchez 1.54 okay now looking at the schedule we start off not bad like winning against Marseille 3-1 and then draw against Isaacs Leon 1-1. I think we didn't even lose a single game to Isaacs Leon this season which is miracle here. 4-1 at home against them and then 2-1 against him at the Coupe de France final which we won the Coupe de France so I'll talk about that later. So we really didn't even lose to Isaacs once this season which is not too bad but we got our first loss of the season in Champions League against Dortmund at home. That game we 100% deserved to win but Dortmund just got the luck and his goalkeeper was in great form that game. We also don't deserve to lose this game as Shakhtar already got red card at 56 minutes but we just couldn't break them down. <sighs> that was a tough game but in know we still qualify for Champions League next round because we beat Lazio, draw Lazio here, and then beat Dortmund 5-2, which is a great result. Shakhtar 1-0. To go on to meet Barcelona at the first knockout round, which we won the first leg. That two goals conceded was very unlucky in my opinion. We shouldn't concede that kind of goals. But away, they just smashed us away. So, fair play to Barcelona. Now I take away the Champions League. Uh, this... 5 deal against Monaco, that was a moment to forget definitely, I already mentioned that earlier. Don't even know what happened that day, we just couldn't fight back at all. Uh, we whole season only lost one game at home in the league, 
this is this game Amen's 2-1 that game we also deserve to win but just don't have the luck look at it we dominated the game but still didn't break them down only got one goal with Jose Martinez at 90 minutes as well and then another loss is Bodo 2-0 away and then this game was 6-2 smashed by Beacon Marseille same as that game against Sanyun Marco just couldn't fight back, don't know what happened, but we still got two goals better than against Sanyu. And then it was at I think it was at this point we realized we just couldn't catch up anymore to the league. We lost to PSG 2 1 here, but in the end we didn't lose any more game. Which including the win against Cop de France against Isaac to win the French Cup. But the France Cup was relatively easy considering the team we draw. We only got Standard Renes and Isaac's Leon that are considered hard team because Rams this season are 14 in the league as you can see here. Finish end up. They are almost close to relegation, so it was quite easy to beat them. And then the rest of the team, RC Lens is League 2. And then this two team is just way below our league, so it was quite easy journey, but a trophy is good for us. <laughs> good end to season two, yeah. Better than season one definitely. And I wanna show you this Isaac's Leon winning the Europa League 4-3 in the final against PSV. It was a very very good game to watch because Isaac have a two new lead early with Anderson and Tonali scoring, but then Marlon score one to make it two one. Jeff Reynale score to make it 3-1 but Marlon go on to score two goals make it a hat-trick to take it to extra time and then Isaac's Paulo Diaz got sent off at 97 minutes he plays counter-attack at the last few 10 minutes but still got a winner with Martin Terry with a counter-attack goal to win the final a very very awesome final well done to him as well we me and him is the only team that actually won some silverware throughout this whole series. Overall, season two, we do not bad. Like have the silverware is not bad, but I'm not sure would that be season three or not. I might come back on my own. But anyway, thank you for everyone for watching this series. It's been a great journey, and hope you really enjoyed it. And there will be new series coming up soon. Definitely not continue season 3 first, we might come back later on but not sure, let's see how. And I will see you in the next series, I guess. Bye.